customers at the Mess Café at Withenshaw's Message Enterprise Centre are usually greeted by Sarah, a confident young woman with a big smile and a sunny disposition. But Sarah's journey to where she is today has not been easy. Among the few people who know how far she's come are the Eden team based near where Sarah grew up in Openshaw, East Manchester. Um, we first met Sarah when she um, started coming to a lunchtime club that the Eden Project was putting on for more vulnerable um, Year 7 pupils in our local high school. Sarah was really shy, um, we used to call her Little Sarah. I wouldn't go out, I wouldn't talk to anyone, I'd just stay at home all the time. I wouldn't mix or do anything with other people. They'd take the mick out of me and they'd call me mum as well and just be you know, horrible to me and just make me feel not wanted. The reason for Sarah's shyness included moderate learning difficulties and a strained home life. The Eden Openshaw team gave Sarah the support and sense of belonging she needed. I guess Sarah found a place where she felt safe and she was able to be herself and we were able to take her along to um, weekends away and camping and like loads of fun new experiences that she would probably not have had um, without Eden. As she began to put her trust in Christ, Sarah also found a confidence in herself and the Eden team was with her every step of the way. It made a big difference because I was able to open up and actually speak to Lizzie about my problems because I wasn't able to speak to my mum because of the way she was. I'd be able to talk to Lizzie, and meet up with her, read the Bible, pray together, and just do stuff that I probably wouldn't do in front of loads of people. But as she left school, it became clear that finding a job was going to be a real challenge. She offered to volunteer at the Message Enterprise Centre. Her attitude and determination impressed the team so much that the cafe offered her a full-time job working alongside the message team and ex-offenders, and her confidence went through the roof. Uh, I've come out with Cheryl, and I'm more focused on Jesus as well and not other things, like nothing else bothers me, it's just all in the past now. It's such a privilege to have seen Sarah, uh, little Sarah in year seven at school, shy and quiet, and to, to watch her journey as she's kind of grown up and as she's um, got a job now in the mess cafe. She's just grown so much in confidence and in, she's just so proud of herself and her mum and dad are so proud of her and we're so proud of her. 